<clears throat> Hi, this is Jack, and I am going to speak about the Akashic Records. Okay, so what is known about the Akashic Records um, is that it has been like a, a recording, a, 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 a book of life scenario where all your experiences from all your lives have been written down and noted. And yes, it did exist. Uh, mainly it was part of and for the entire soul construct, mastery, ascension, uh, spirituality, manifestation uh, in which human beings believe in this world. Um, but it was also necessary for the interdimensional beings who were basically in charge of when human beings die and cross over and where they are supposed to be placed in the dimensions. Now of course I suppose you, the question that's being asked there, there are millions and billions of people in this world um, how do they keep track and keep trend of the Akashic records of all human beings in existence. Um, whether you believe in the Akashic records or not it did exist and it did exist for each human being. Um, each human being's guide, each human being had one specific guide um, that remained with them through all their lives, the same guide. Um, sometimes if guides would change it, it happened, but rarely. Um, it was mainly preferred that human beings have the exact same guides. And the guides then would have these specific records of this specific human being within them and then of course it, it is it is it is um, logged um, placed from that perspective within the Akashic records. Um, now this was to done this was done for the following reason. It was also part of the dimensional beings believing in the in the fake crap um, uh, and that lessons had to be learned etc. So Let's take from the Akashic Records, you had the Akashic Records, the records of all human beings and all their lives, previous lives, past lives, etc. within this book. Okay? And yet within this book, also then each guide had the specific records for each human being that they're with. And the guide's purpose, um, according to their implanted belief, through a mind consciousness insertion, which I described as that central point inside the mind, even inside the dimensions, um, that they must basically make sure that the human beings learn their lessons or go through their lessons or transcend their lessons, etc. The, the, the entire karma equation. And if they didn't, you know, the records will be placed and uh, the being will just be sent back to another life, a similar life, to do it again and again and again and again until they learn their lesson. Um, now the reason for the recording um, of all the past lives and previous lives and God knows what um, was also for the for Anu and basically most beings who were in charge and power and control of heaven um, to make sure that the that you know beings human beings are maintaining pace here on earth. In, in other words, they're not diverting off the path of enslavement, um, and that's one of the reasons. What else? Um, yeah, so that's basically one of the other ways how I maintain control and existence. And of course, if you in any way whatsoever. Now the white light, in terms of the grid line system, was also connected to the Akashic Records. In other words, so if a being would in any way try and influence anything of this world, in any way that it would support human beings to release them, even from a moment's enslavement or control of power on, because of those above them or anything, if, it, if any form of equality and oneness exists here in this world, or if any solution to anything that exists already uh, is brought forward by any being, they're immediately removed or in their previous life they're placed as a as a um, 
God as a dog or something like that, so that they, because they, they've been, they, 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 they've been labelled as a threat. So, because it's been tried before, but what was an interesting thing is that whether they place, whether they remove the being and place them in the following life, the being did the exact same thing. So there was a part of being such as that who actually stood up and wanting to make a difference and finding solutions for the current manifestation of existence who, um, like those beings, uh, the Anunnaki just couldn't suppress, it was no matter what they did or what they tried. And um, so in terms of the removal of certain human beings in this world was also quite specific, especially those who wanted to make a difference. And now human beings have this unconscious fear that if they actually stand up and make a difference, they'll be removed. Um, which is interesting. It's just another way how um, this, uh, this entire enslavement of man manifests here on Earth. So that was the Akashic Records. It was really no big thing. It was really just basically to make sure that the beings who go through their lives, go through their lessons, um, follow their correct path, etc 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 and then of course the security system for those few beings in power and control in the dimensions to make sure that all human beings maintain their movement and because this whole Akashic record recording thing of the soul construct um, and the white light connected with that was placed with Anu so he always had an eye over everything and, you know he was quite specific you know, in terms of what he did and he trusted his followers to a certain extent. Um, and he'd always have this warning system that he'd sent out certain people or certain beings in the dimensions to go sort it out immediately. It was either removal or inserting another system or reprogramming, doing upgrades, etc. So he managed and literally ruled over this world and human beings. Okay, this is Jack and Akashi Records. Thank you very much.